morning, law enforcement officials are preparing for potential violence in the Capitol and nationwide after the leak of that Supreme Court draft opinion that would strike down Roe v. Wade after 50 years. Capitol Police are warning the far right is calling for violence against a religious group planning to rally for abortion rights. Whitney Wilde is live outside the Supreme Court. Listen, seeing fences go up there, uh, it's sort of like post-January 6th. What are you seeing and, and what specific intelligence is warring if it, uh, police officials? Well, at this point, law enforcement sources, several of them tell us that they are closely monitoring social media chatter uh, that suggests that there's a potential for violence against abortion clinic providers, abortion clinic staff, members of the judiciary. That would include the justices here, uh, as well as members of the federal government. And what we know after January 6th and what law enforcement knows across the country is that social media chatter can manifest into actual violence. Sometimes people really do say what they're going to do. You got that? Law enforcement sources tell CNN the real threat here is the far right. <laughs> the far right. Fences are going up outside the Supreme Court because the far right poses a threat. The far right is the one you have to watch out for. They're the ones whose electronic communications you've got to, quote, monitor closely. And that makes sense. Now that Roe v. Wade may be going away, these people are going to want to bomb as many abortion clinics as they can and hurt as many Supreme Court justices as possible. After all, the Supreme Court may get rid of a law that they have hated for 50 years. Terrorism from white supremacy is the most lethal threat to the homeland today. Not ISIS, not Al-Qaeda, white supremacists. Not Al-Qaeda, white supremacy. So when we reviewed those tapes, it started to make sense. Like the Mongols and the Visigoths before them, these dreaded white supremacists have declared war on civilization, these Trump voters, and the evidence for that is all around us. We just ignored it because on some level, we don't want to know. But in retrospect, it was always right in front of us. You recall when Trump voters looted that Macy's in New York City. They couldn't help themselves. That's who they are. Then they torched a police precinct in Minneapolis, the very symbol of the law. They set it on fire. And then they burned a federal building in Portland, Oregon. In case you've forgotten what all of these right-wing attacks looked like from white supremacists, here's what they did. 